Right now, I'm looking directly at the camera, or am I? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm sitting in front of my camera here because I actually want to share something with you. I actually use a program called Descript to edit some of my videos. It's great. It's almost a life hack in some ways. If you are not a video editor and you want to edit videos, Descript makes it really easy, especially talking head videos. Now, one of the things that Descript has added here, and it's in beta, and I wanted to share it with you, is fixing the focus of eyes. So, when I am not looking directly at the camera, you can tell, and this this is a problem for a lot of presentations, maybe YouTube videos, maybe instructional or training videos, maybe you want to give a really powerful speech to the graduates of 2023. All right, no one's asking me to do any commencement addresses, but one of the things that I thought here is that there might be a lot of times when you're reading something instructional, or maybe you have a script off of the camera here, and a lot of times we don't have a teleprompter. Teleprompters work, but they're not super easy to use. So I wanted to see if this would work because I've actually looked for solutions here and Nvidia makes a program that is available but it's only available on PC and because I use Macs most of the time it's not going to be an application I can even download so not only do you have to buy this program from Nvidia but you have to have like an Nvidia graphics card to be able to use it so it kind of corrects the eyes with AI so that's one option if you use a PC and an Nvidia graphics card the other option is that I found is there's an app called captions and that will also do some eye fixing but as far as I can tell it will only work within an iOS or Android app, so you have to do it on the app. You can't do it on the desktop or in a web browser, which would be a lot easier to manipulate things around. And the second problem is it will only do up to five minutes. So I actually tried to correct a video that was over five minutes and it was like, mm -mm -mm, not gonna happen. And so I was like, oh, I didn't realize there was a five minute limit. And it's also like $10 a month to subscribe. So it's gonna cost you. Now Descript is also a subscription service, but it's so good you might use it for all of your video editing. So what I wanted to do here is actually try it out. Again, it's a beta and just show you the results and let you be the judge. Now for the first part of this, I am actually looking, I'm gonna keep my glasses on for this whole thing because I'm kind of curious how it will work even with my glasses. Will it recognize my eyes? The other thing that I wanna tell you is that because it processes on their servers, my understanding is it can take some time to render. I don't know how long that is, but my guess is if it's a five minute video, it could take a while to change all the little elements of your eyeballs, your pupils. So I suspect that it could absolutely take hours to do. In fact, they have something called studio sound. When I have turned that on, it tries to elevate the sound so that it sounds more like it was recorded on a really high end microphone. And even on a 10 minute video, that studio sound can take 15 minutes sometimes up to a few hours to generate that improvement in audio and that's just like an audio enhancer right that's not even trying to manipulate the image so a few things I want to try here first of all obviously I'm talking to the camera right now but what I want to do here is I actually want to read some passages from my book rated M for my new eh? and you can buy this on Amazon but you're gonna get a sneak peek today. And I'm going to read off camera like this. I'm gonna put the book up kind of next to the camera and this is me looking directly at the page. So this is what it would look like. I also wanna read a little bit facing this way and see if it looks like, even though my head's turned away, I'm looking at the camera. And then I'm going to try to tilt my head towards the camera so I can keep my head aligned with it, right? And then read the pages with my eyes tilted away from the camera and see if it corrects that, all right? So the first thing is I'm going to look at the book here and read the passages. My favorite dog is a padoodle, half poodle, half poodle. Honk if you hate noise. Peter discovered that there is a big difference between sandpaper and toilet paper. Okay, so I'm not sure what my eyes were doing or how visible they are with the glasses and all that, but you can be the judge there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read some passages, like I said here, and I'm going to tilt my head towards the camera and try to read with my eyes askew here. Sometimes Peter just stares at a 99 cent app and thinks, damn, I'm cheap. Do what you love and you'll have to work every day of your life in a job that you hate to support it. I'm not saying Liam Neeson is being typecast, but he should consider leaving law enforcement. I may not be a smart man, but I know what poop tastes like. Hmm. From experience. All right. So there I was 
not looking at the camera for any bit of that. So if you are trying to read some training materials, maybe you are trying to do something for a meeting, maybe you are trying to be a YouTuber, maybe you are trying to send a greeting to someone, or maybe you have a great speech that you wanna record for posterity, whatever it might be, you can be the judge of how well Descript worked to make your eyes look like they are looking at the camera, you know, based on this little experiment. And my hope is that as it gets out of beta, it's gonna be faster and better, but I'm really excited about this because this is actually a very useful feature for a lot of people who record video. Not just people who are recording video for public consumption like this, but like I said, even in the workplace, even if you are training, a lot of people work remotely. Maybe you want to train up or share some ideas and you don't wanna look like you are looking away from the camera. You wanna be real personal. That's what I like. Mm being real up close and personal with people. So if you like this, it might just be the reason to subscribe to Descript, but there are a lot of other features. So you be the judge. And if you want to pick up Descript, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than